Hello everybody, it is Emily. I am back with a grocery haul. So, um, for those that are new to my channel, my name is Emily. I am a single mom of a 12 year old. And on this channel we do budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, stuffings, and all things finances. And I also do grocery hauls and um, I do 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 um, day in the life videos of me and my child and my occupation. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, I am now 40. Um, my birthday was Thursday. So I have decided to transition to a more healthier lifestyle. And so um, this is going to be a, a healthy grocery haul. Um, and I'm going to be doing more cooking from scratch, um, less process. And I think the only thing that I have processed on this table is this pizza over here, which is for my 12 year old, but, uh, I'm going to try to transition her to more, less process as well, less sugar. So, um, I picked up these two good, two gram sugar, uh, yogurts. If anybody on this channel has had this let me know um i am doing a combination of low carb and keto and just eating better overall so um, i'm just kind of doing my own thing and i'm taking things from uh, both sides of the set there as far as low carb high protein and uh keto as well so this is 80 calories 12 grams of protein four carbs zero grams of added sugar so I'm gonna check this out. This is the vanilla. Let me know if you guys like this uh, sugar. I mean, uh, if you guys like this uh, type of yogurt. So this is the two good. So it's, it's two grams of sugar. This is straw mixed berry. Okay, so then I picked up the extra polar sugar-free gum. Um, I will be doing a combination of juicing. Um, so I'm taking out the processed sugar and I'm gonna be doing a combination of of juicing as real as doing like smoothies and um smoothie bowls just eating fruit um and i'm gonna limit i'm going to limit how much i eat a day of the fruit though but i need to incorporate some uh natural more natural sugars into my diet so i got this uh great value mixed fruit uh, this is pineapple sliced strawberries peaches and mangoes for my smoothies and smoothie bowls. I picked up this to snack on. It's the organic baby cut carrots, um, which I'll have this carrots and celery with a little bit of light ranch on the side for a snack. I picked these up just for some garnishing for my uh, drinks and stuff. It's freeze dried strawberry fruit crisp, 100%, nothing at fruit, nothing added. Um, I just picked this up because I like my little drinks to be fancy and stuff. Uh, I picked up two bags of the fine green, great bag of fine green beans. Gonna saute them in a pan with a little bit of onion and garlic and um, some other things to kind of jazz them up. So I did talk about this in my last couple of grocery hauls that I was transitioning from canned vegetables. So I'm gonna be doing fresh. I remember we're doing frozen vegetables and fresh. Uh, Whenever I, my budget allows for fresh produce, I picked up two bags of the sugar snap pea stir fry. It has sugar snap peas, broccoli, green beans, yellow squash, red peppers, carrots, yellow peppers, and water chestnuts. Um, I used to eat this a long time ago and it was so tasty. And I would saute that in a pan with, with some uh, cut up chicken breast tenderloins, add a little bit of soy sauce to it. Oh, y'all, so good. And it's a, little, it's a lot more healthier. I picked up two packs of the natural hickory smoked bacon. Um, I'm still gonna allow myself to eat bacon. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna eat it in moderation. So, um, and that's a part of keto. A lot of people that do keto eat bacon and cheese and stuff. But um, I feel like keto um, is good. But I feel like it makes uh, some of the things makes your cholesterol high if you eat a lot of it. So I will be eating it in moderation. Okay, I picked up a purple onion. I'm gonna make some fresh guacamole, so I picked up some purple, um, some purple onion for that, and some cilantro. I picked up two avocados, a tomato, 
a bag of three bag of garlic I picked up now I am going to try to transition to less salt in my diet and less sodium so I did pick up this salt free uh, Mrs. Dash and actually it doesn't say Mrs. Dash anymore it just says Dash so this is a Southwest Chipotle season blend I'm gonna season my chicken and stuff with this I picked up two of these coconut waters which I will be using these in my smoothies um, just a little drop it will go a long way um, so I picked up two of these coconut the Goya coconut water with pulp you know I picked this up now this this is my little snack cravings y'all so um, because I am transitioned to less sugar less processed sugar um, I know that when I did this before sometimes I would have cravings so I picked this up um, this is a sugar-free chocolate uh, snack pack pudding so I picked this up for those cravings okay I picked this up here this is the sparkling ice i wanted to try these sparkling ice coconut pineapple uh, flavored sparkling water zero sugar with vitamins and antioxidants i'm gonna get this real cold y'all and i'm gonna try this so i hope they're good if anybody's had these and they like them leave a comment down below i picked this up for my chipotle bowls that i'm gonna make this is 10 minute uh, success rice this is the jasmine Thai rice okay and then I picked this pizza up for my daughter and uh yeah and so with my me changing my lifestyle I am going to allow myself to have some treats here and there but for the most part I'm going to be cooking from scratch and basically this is what I just bought um my daughter will be here for a couple of days and then I'll be sending her back to her dad she wanted to come to visit for a couple of days so she'll be going back to her dad's and grandparents the rest of the summer so I picked that pizza up for tonight now this is just part of my grocery haul so I will be going to Aldi's later on today and and um, a couple other stores I'm going to visit a uh, produce stand slash farmers market and see what I can pick up from there as well. So this is just part of my grocery haul. This part of my grocery haul came to, let's see, $50. $50.78. Okay, so this is everything that I got. Um, so y'all, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm going to try to transition myself over to eating better and a lot healthier. Um, I know everything on this table is not perfect but this is what i'm gonna do for myself um i know that in the past i um some people may know and some people may not know i had lost about 90 let's see i think it was 92 pounds that i lost before and so i'm just gonna do exactly what i did before and um see if i can lose some weight and just get healthier overall so even if my i have a hormonal issues and so my weight is very stubborn to come off so even if i don't lose any pounds maybe inches and i just want to be going into my 40s i just want to be overall healthier so like i said everything on this table is not perfect um but we're trying because my diet before was full of process and sugars so yeah, well, anyway, I'll holler at you guys later when I come back from all these. Hey, YouTube. So, I come back to show y'all what I picked up from Dollar Tree. So, this is a continuation from my grocery haul, my healthy grocery haul. Um, So, I paid $14.48. The only thing that's not picture here is the toilet tissue that I picked up but uh I picked up this nan wanna wanna banana um what does it say no preservatives gluten-free natural fruit smoothie it's like a little pouch this is a new item to the Dollar Tree so this is one of the new items to my local Dollar Tree it says no sugar added mango passion fruit and banana I wanted to try this to see um, how it tastes. Gluten-free, ready to drink, BPA-free packaging, and not suit, it's not suitable for the microwave. 
and this is the nutrition so the whole thing is 100 calories it says one serving per package so it's 100 calories for the whole thing and it has the total grams of sugar in it is 20 total grams of sugar is 20 so and there's no added sugars in this but uh that's the nutrition fats on it so that's a new item i just wanted to give it a try um then i picked up this here this is the nature's garden whole almonds it's just whole plain almonds okay and then i picked up some sunflower kernels for my salad these are low in cholesterol which is something that i'm definitely looking for low in sodium and it's a good source of fiber i'm gonna add this to my salads you guys to give it an extra little crunch 160 calories serving size is three tablespoons so and it's six servings in this pack i'm just gonna do a tablespoon for my uh salads then i picked this up uh i just wanted to get this just for extra garnishment with my um for some of my drinks or whatever this is the gluten-free no preservatives and natural vegan friendly um freeze-dried mixed fruit so it looks like it's got banana blackberries strawberries it says no gmo made with no g non-gmo ingredients so i was really happy to find these freeze-dried mixed fruits a delicious way to snack and do you want mama do what your mama tells you and eat your fruits okay all right mama uh serving size is one bag 60 calories for she told me it's 60 calories for one bag it's got 14 grams of sugar in it though but anyway so i got that i'm not gonna eat the whole bag at a time i'm gonna just use it for like the sprinkling of water and stuff like that anything that i just want an extra little garnishment in I got the bent ben, the be fruitful all natural pineapples it says 100 percent fruit no sugar added uh all natural freeze dried pineapples same thing one package 60 calories um yeah that's that it says keep in a cool dry place my friend actually said is once you open these you should try to stick them in the freezer to uh preserve them longer all right so i picked up so i got this here i wanted to um get some fruit for smoothies now they don't in my dollar tree they don't carry the dollar fruit frozen fruit anymore so they did have this in the plus side of the freezer it's uh the dollar tree plus size it's three dollars for this package it's a family size and this is strawberries bananas and blueberries so I picked this up for my fruit smoothies. It's still the same brand that they had before the TJ Farms. Uh, and it says it's great for smoothies. So that's kind of a bummer because they used to sell the packages of fruit for a dollar. But now I see that, and it just don't look no bigger than the one that they had before. It might be slightly bigger, but I feel like it's about the same amount. They just saying family size. Okay, I picked this up here for my vegetables that i'm gonna take um it's vet i'm gonna take some carrots and celery for a snack and this is just a perfect little container it's kind of like a little sandwich container but then it has this little cup inside for your dressing or whatever so i picked up two of these i got a gray one and a teal one and that's what i went at dollar tree for was to just get the little containers but they got the whole little tray so i thought this was really a good find and it's in the um back to school area okay so another uh new item that i found in the drink freezers like where you check out it is these minute made aqua frescas this is a juice beverage and strawberry now this is probably something that i'm just gonna drink uh today because i just wanted to try it it's i'm not saying that it's healthy healthy because it's just three percent juice a blend of apple and strawberry juice concentrates so it is 90 percent well it is for eight fluid ounces it's two servings in here it'll be 90 calories so if you drank the whole thing do 90 times two and then you'll double 
I guess you would double the grams of sugar. I'm not really sure how the, that goes as far as nutrition. It says 22 grams of sugar in here if you drink. It says, okay, so per container is 90 calories. So it's saying that this is 90 calories for the whole thing, but, and it's 22. And then per serving, it's only 45 calories. So if you look at it, it's 11 grams if you only drink drink eight ounces. If you drank the whole can, it'd be 22 grams of sugar, which if that's all the sugar you're getting in a day, that's not bad. But I wanted to try this, so I picked it up. So it says shape before you drink, and it's 16 fluid ounces. So technically it's two servings in this can. So, but yeah, that's a new item to the Dollar Tree as well. So for the total thing amount here, I have minus my toilet paper, was $14 okay and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I picked up from uh, quality foods I picked up some meat to go along with my uh, healthy food journey my healthy food journey just me getting healthy again so I'll be back and I'll show you guys what I picked up at quality foods okay so I'm back with my Aldi's grocery haul and this is my healthy grocery haul for Aldi's. I think I did pretty good with Aldi's. I spent, let's see, $16.76 is what I spent at Aldi's. And everything that you see picture is what I got at Soap for. I got a half a gallon of milk as well. But I picked up this rice cauliflower garlic and herb it's three it's three grams of carbs per serving so i picked that up so it's basically like you can use it for a substitute for rice and so i'm trying to cut back on carbs and starches so i'm gonna substitute this right here for rice so this is the rice cauliflower garlic and herb i picked up a package of um what do you call this celery brain fart y'all picked up a package of celery that i'm gonna cut up and use for a snack for work um then i picked up this here a uh, three package of squash okay and then i picked up this underneath here um a three package of zucchini so i'm gonna have squash and zucchini and onion so I picked up the onion. Here's a bag of Vidalia sweet onions. Okay. It has, what's it? One, two, three, four. I got four onions in there. And then I picked up this bag of sweet potatoes that I will be washing, cutting up, cubing, and roasting in my air fryer with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of pepper, cinnamon, and, um, that's all. So I'm gonna be making some really healthy um, meals with this. Like I said, I'll be cutting this up, washing it, and sauteing it in a little bit of this uh, cooking canola oil cooking spray. And I'm gonna saute it with some onions, and that'll be um, with a protein. So yeah, I am trying to migrate to eating more clean and eating less processed for health reasons um so yeah so that's what i spent i think i got a lot and then like i said i got a, a half a gallon of whole milk for my daughter so that i can make uh grits and oatmeal and things like that for my daughter i always add a little milk in so i i mainly just use milk for that and we might move over to almond milk, which I used to do almond milk before, so. But uh, today I just purchased the regular milk. Um, I don't use, I don't drink milk, but I usually just use it to cook with. But none of the items that I'm gonna be eating is gonna have milk in it. And that's mainly just for me to prepare meals uh, for my daughter while she's here for the next couple of days. And then she'll be going back with her grandparents. Yeah, so I just wanted to show y'all my Audi haul. So, who says you can't get, um, who says that you can't get, um, things for cheap or on a budget at Aldi's? 
And so like all this is fresh produce, y'all. And like I said, I only spent $16.76. And I got all of this. I think I did fairly, fairly good. Okay. So yeah, that concludes my Aldi's healthy grocery store haul. And I will be back in another video to show you guys what I picked up from um, Quality Foods. Hey YouTube, so it's Emily. I am back with the last part of my grocery haul. So I have visited, let's see, I went to Walmart. I went to Dollar Tree. I went to um, Quality Foods, which is right here. I went to Aldi. So I went to four different stores and to maximize my grocery budget. And um, like I said, I am transitioning over to eating a little bit more healthier. So what I picked up was two packs of chicken tenderloins. Okay, they were 419 and 437. Then I picked up, uh, I'm gonna show y'all those last, some more chicken. I picked up a family pack of chicken legs and a family pack of chicken thighs. The chicken legs was, let's see, $5.96 and the chicken thighs, the family pack was $8.42. And then I picked up this here, but whenever I want to switch it up from chicken, I picked these up to uh, saute and grill these up in cubes. And I'll probably be having a little bit of roasted potatoes and broccoli with this. I paid $13.29 for the steak and i'm going to uh probably do meal prep i'm gonna do meal prep with all of this meat y'all so i'll be having um two meals that consist of protein and i'll be doing like maybe sweet potatoes or broccoli or zucchini and onions and broccoli with a protein um so pretty much what i'm doing is i'm cutting out all process Food, most processed foods out of my diet and I'm replacing it with high protein, low carbs, lower carbs, less sugar, less sodium. And yeah, so that's the type of diet that I, and I'm not going to call it a diet. I'm just kind of doing like a lifestyle change. But yeah, so for the most part, I'll be having chicken. And once I get tired of chicken, I'll do uh, maybe some steak or whatever I'm not gonna eat all this at one time but i'll take one of these and cut it up and do meal prep with this as well so um i will be doing a separate video of my meal preps and stay tuned if you are um wanting to follow my health journey that i'm starting i'll also be doing videos on that so yeah so that was um the last place that i went to um was um quality foods that's a local store here in greenville south carolina but yep so there you go and then i also purchased this for my birthday and this is not like grocery related and i've already opened it but i just wanted to share with you guys that i purchased this for my birthday it's a ninja air fryer guilt-free fried, fried food up to 75 percent less fat than traditional frying methods super fast airflow for even heating and crispy crisping easy to clean two layer nonstick coated and you can air fry different things reheat dehydrate uh two wind speed two fan speeds with wide range tip temp so yes, yeah, so I purchased this for Walmart. I think I paid 70, I mean $69. It was on sale for $69. This is the four quart capacity. Fits two pounds of fries if you choose to do fries in it. But yeah, so I, I went ahead and purchased this so that I can um, cook my meats in it, roast my vegetables in it. And yeah, so I'll be back 
um, to share with you guys in future videos. So don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos if you want to follow my health journey. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it a diet because it's going to be a new healthy lifestyle of mine. So if you want to follow my new healthy lifestyle, feel free to um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Talk to you guys later. Hey everybody, it's Emily again. So I did go back to Aldi's this morning to pick up a couple of things for my daughter and I needed some broccoli. So I picked up two of these uh, strawberry yogurts. They were 58 cents a piece. I picked up this broccoli. It was $2 for this bunch here. I picked this up here. This was like two thirty something, and then the highest thing was this. It was almost seven dollars. So, um, and this is the Boathouse Farm strawberry and banana uh, smoothie. Um, I picked this up because she's going back to her dad's and grandparents, and Ashton does not like to eat a lot of fruit or vegetables. Eat a lot of vegetables. So in order for her to get some fruit in her diet, which I know this has a good bit of added sugar to it, but uh, I picked this up for her for convenience because she's not, she doesn't have a blender there to blend her own fruits and vegetables. And just because it is convenient, I got this for her. But I got these two items mainly because Ashen suffers from chronic constipation. So I got this to kind of, for her to kind of, um, you know, eat and snack on to help her constipation issues. And so, so far this summer, she hasn't had any issues with constipation because she's been drinking more water. She's been, you know, doing a little bit better with not eating so much fast food. They've been cooking a good bit for her. Um, but when she, like with Ashton, if she eat a lot of fast food, she, and because she don't drink a lot of water and she eat a lot of cheese and so she gets, you know, backed up fairly fast. So, um, so that she don't have to take medicine and stuff like Miralax and stuff like that. I got these items for her and so far so good this summer. She's been doing pretty good. She hasn't had any issues with constipation or anything. Um, so I am meal prepping and I needed some broccoli. So I picked this up too. So, um, I didn't tell you guys, so the total of all my shopping it seemed like I did a lot of shopping, you guys. So the total, so here's what I spent um, for all of these grocery hauls that you're gonna see in this one video. For at Walmart, I spent fifty dollars. At Aldi's, um, yesterday's shopping trip was seventeen dollars. This shopping uh, trip right here was thirteen dollars. Um, quality foods, the store that I shop for for meats, I spent thirty-four dollars. And then that Dollar Tree haul, I spent $17. So collectively for all the hauls that you're gonna see in this one video, I spent $131 and I got a lot of healthy choices, you guys. Um, there is two things that I forgot to show that I am gonna go ahead and show in this video. Well, three things. I had to go back and pick up a case of water that you see there. So I guess I need to add $5 to this. So I actually spent like $136 is what I ended up spending for all of it. But um, I didn't show you guys this here that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I actually got this when I was in Atlanta. This is the um, EB Artisans Coffee. is vanilla gourmet flavored syrup. Um, I really like coffee, you guys, so I'm looking for a really, um, a really healthier way to enjoy coffee. So if y'all have any healthier recipes for coffee, let me know. What can I get? Uh, how can I make coffee and, and not be so bad? So, um, I got this vanilla, uh, sugar-free flavored syrup right here so yes vanilla sugar-free flavored syrup that I got sorry y'all sound like a little slow but 
my uh somebody was texting me and i was trying to read that too but anyway so i got the salted caramel flavored syrup too this is um sugar-free as well so i want to try these like i said they were from the dollar tree i've never tried their syrups or anything but if anybody has like a healthy risk or healthier recipe for coffee uh drinks let me know um like i said i'm doing a version of keto low carb high protein i'm just doing a mixture of uh different things on my health journey so even if it's a keto recipe for coffee let me know down in the uh comments but i would like to still be able to enjoy my coffee but with less sugar so that's why i did get the sugar-free syrups okay but uh if y'all tried this let me know if anybody tried these from dollar tree let me know how they taste and like i said if anybody know any kind of low carb low sugar coffee recipes let me know that down in the comments as well i really really appreciate you guys i hope you guys um have enjoyed my shopping my hauls for my uh, healthy grocery shopping and let's get healthy you guys i am also going to put down in the description box my I, I made a page on Facebook for anybody that wants to come over to join my, um, to follow my health journey. Um, you can, I'm going to be doing videos on my health journey on this channel, but I will be interacting on Facebook. So, um, I just ask that, uh, and I'm going to be monitoring the group because I don't want a lot of people in the group that is not going to add value to the group or is going to be judged just going to be judgmental to anybody in the group it is a group to support uh it is a group to for accountability purposes and so i just hope that everybody that um comes over to join my group is going to be respectful of one another and there will be group uh, rules posted i'm just not starting the group so you can go ahead and add me I will have that group name posted down in the description box. Um, and like I said, it is a Facebook group. And I'm gonna, it's not gonna be associated with my YouTube name. It's, I'm got a, I got a whole new name for my new group. And yeah, so if anybody wants to follow my journey or they're on their own journey, you can come in the group. You can share recipes, your own fitness tips. And yeah, we're just gonna be in there um, sharing things and inspiring one another. And we're going to be open. We're going to be an open group to new ideas. We're going to, uh, and I'm just going to ask everybody to be respectful and open. If it's something that you see in a group that's not for you, I ask that you just pass the post or anything. But, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a nice little group. And I'm going to assign some admins and moderators to the group so that um, things will stay respectful and nobody's intimidated or nobody's judged in the group and yeah so anyway if you're interested in my health journey you can come over to the facebook group and i will add you in thank you i'll talk to you guys later